I welcome everybody back to JurisQ Podcasts. Today we have a guest, uh, our usual guest, who is a guru on personal injury law in New York, attorney Dan Mink, a partner in Rosenberg Mink, a big firm. When I say big, I mean it's a boutique firm, but a very powerful firm, very seasoned firm that deals with personal injury. You're not going to be lost among hundreds of attorneys. The team is... How many attorneys do you have? Ten so, Michael, we have, uh, we have just to give you a perspective of our yeah. firm, we're in the fourth generation. So what does that mean? A hundred exactly. years of continuous practice. Exactly. We have litigated 30,000 claims for New York City residents. Unmatched. We, were, we have recovered for them over a billion dollars wow. in settlements and claims. Very powerful burdens. figures. So we are constantly working on behalf of the citizens of New York. Uh, they've trusted us for generations, and we're very proud of it. And we're still we're still ready to to kill it for them. And uh, we're on trial right now. We have many cases set up for trial. We have cases in the pipeline. We're we're interviewing new clients every day. Uh, that, that's it's a great, it's, uh, great, great, great introduction. I could not have done it better myself. And of course, the numbers speak volume when it comes to uh, hiring an attorney like yourself and your firm. And I want to look, we only work on contingency. What does that mean? If we don't get paid, uh, if we don't win the case, we don't get paid and we lay out all the expenses. But of course, your case has to qualify. It has to qualify for us to take it on. If we take it on, that means we're ready to do battle for you. But we we can't take every case. We take cases that we feel we can make a big difference for the client. But uh, when you take on a case, uh, then, uh, to answer a question that was uh, posed to us that is frequently asked also on, uh, on Google, when you take on a case, you investigate whom can you sue? Who are the possible defendants in a car accident case in New York? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Who are the possible defendants? So it's very important, okay? Uh, it's very important that we uncover and discover the right people. Why? Because if someone is not responsible and I've sued them, I can't collect anything. And that means I haven't done my job. Mm -hmm. uh, if I've sued the wrong people, I right. must bring the right people. There's another reason. Okay. Uncovering it is hard, but uh, there's another reason. The court will penalize me if I do not sue a responsible party. It's called uh, arguing to the empty chair. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Let's, let's assume that I am being sued. I'm a contractor on a construction job. And your client, Michael, has been injured. And you've sued Dan Mink Construction Company, all right? You haven't sued a uh, subcontractor, subcontractor responsible, okay? You've sued Dan Mink Construction Company. We go to trial. Dan Mink Construction Company testifies. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you that was not my responsible job, okay? I was the contractor for the concrete on the job. Right. This particular aspect involves a piece of steel that fell. And mm -hmm. that was done by responsible subcontractor falling steel. Right. So falling steel is not present. So the judge will tell the jury, look, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's been a claim that falling steel is responsible for this accident. And on the on the verdict sheet, they're going to have a name and a space for falling steel. Mm -hmm. And you can enter the percentage of responsibility in this case that you feel that falling steel is responsible for. Okay. Besides Dan Mink. So what if my argument is effective that falling steel is 90% responsible for this accident and they're not here? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's called arguing to the empty chair. I missed an you missed an opportunity, Michael, right. to sue falling steel subcontractors. Well, it was a waste of time and uh, and resources. Your client's going to pay for it. 
okay? Mm -hmm. They're going to not be happy. Uh, you have to sue the right people because uh, your client will suffer if you don't have the right people in the case. There's another right. point. The law makes certain individuals responsible even though when looking at an accident, you wouldn't believe they're responsible, mm -hmm. okay? But there are laws. For instance, car accident. Uh, Michael, you're driving a car. Right. You crash into me, okay? My lawyer sues Michael, the driver right. of the car. Um, but it's not Michael's car. Okay. Someone else owns that car, but they mm -hmm. weren't there. So inexperienced lawyer says, well, gee, did I have to sue owner of the car that wasn't even there? Right. Wasn't What's driving the, the car? Guess what? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. And you better. Okay? That's just one example. Why? Because the law in the state of New York holds the owner also responsible for lending the car to a driver. I see. See, that's why, you know, oftentimes... You know, a, a teenager borrows a car from a parent, right? And gets into, and, and people say to the parents, oh my God, don't lend your car. You say to your teenager, son, right? Or daughter, wait a second. Look, do not lend this car out, mm -hmm. okay? I'm mm -hmm. letting you drive this, my car. I see. Do not lend this to your friends. It's not being a friend. You're forbidden to do that. Do not do it, okay? They don't understand why. It's their friend, okay? Their friend says, oh, I got to run home from school for lunch. I got to grab my books. Can I borrow your car, whatever? Yeah, okay, okay. It's my girlfriend. It's my boyfriend. It's my friend. You lend Good the car, idea, huh? you crack up the car. The parents get sued, okay? They go, what's this lawsuit? Who was driving the car? They go, oh, well, I lent it to my, I told you not to lend that car. Okay. Are the parents responsible? Absolutely. Because even though they weren't there, they didn't give the car to that teenager. On the Their daughter or son gave the car to the teenager. Mm -hmm. It wasn't stolen. Okay. Right. And so the law in the state of New York is you are responsible. So who to sue? If you fail to sue the owner, I'm going to give you another scenario. Right. We had a case, we had a case. A driver totally damages, gets into an accident. Okay. Completely damages the knee of a pedestrian because the pedestrian, well, a pedestrian was loading the back trunk of okay. an SUV. Right. And a driver comes along uh, trying to park his car, accidentally steps on the gas instead of the brake, mm. squishes the driver's Obviously wow. horrible, right? Yeah. Horrible. Talking about a $5 million claim. Sure. So what happened? Depositions occur with the driver of the of the car that hit them. Right. Turns out that driver is employed mm -hmm. by what? A law firm. Ding, ding, wow. ding, ding. A okay. law firm. And it's an investigator on the job. Uh -huh. Okay. For even though the car's in the investigator's name. And the investigator is driving the car, and the law firm is nowhere to be found on the title, on the registration, or whatever. Sue the law firm. The law firm pays. Because why? The law in the state of New York. So that's an example of mm -hmm. who to sue, why it's important, why you need an experienced attorney, why exactly. you have to ask the right question. Yeah. It makes the difference between the 100000 insurance that that driver had on the car and the five million the law firm had. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Dan, you bring up such an important point that it's important to realize you're not suing just an individual, you're really suing the insurance company behind the individual. And I think in the law it's called deep pockets, right? So the more deep yes. pockets you have, the more it enhances the pot that is available for compensation. That's but why, like you lawyer, said, then it's very important. The to lawyer hire an experienced firm then that can actually analyze the situation and find as much as possible on defendants to see how you can get maximum compensation. So I want to summarize and say this. That's the difference in experience. Right. Okay? Anyone can sue the driver 
that hits mm -hmm. somebody and damages their leg. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you another situation on who to sue. A lot of times there's insurance on a car called underinsured. Okay. Uninsured insurance. And that's mm -hmm. insurance that steps in in the event that the offending vehicle is not insured for enough coverage. Mm -hmm. So that's another situation. So also, when you're bringing a claim against the city, there are different agencies. For mm -hmm. instance, the buses, New York City Transit Authority, or is it the Transit Authority? Or is it some other private bus company? Oh, it gets complicated. It gets complicated. If, if you do not sue the right agency, you're out. Interesting. This is a terrible situation, but you're yeah. out. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. The courts are very, very difficult on naming the right people. And it's a responsibility and it's 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 very, very difficult. Yeah, Road that's why it's so hard then if you so if you try to bring a claim yourself without an attorney, it's very hard to ascertain all the possible parties. And that's why it's so important to bring in not just any attorney, an attorney that does personal injury for many years and has a whole army of staff and other partners and associates, paralegals to fight a case. Then our time has come to an end. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for educating the public. You're the go-to person for personal injury law in New York. We appreciate your time. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. And please go back to our uh, prior sessions to learn more about personal injury. And we're going to bring back Dan Ming for our future sessions to educate you guys further. We appreciate it. The phone number is in the bottom of the screen for Dan Ming's firm, Rosenberg Ming. The consultation is free. Please call if you have any questions or if you have a uh, possible case. Dan, thank you. Thank you, I'll Michael. Thank you. Adieu. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye.